Our next guest speaker is Dr. M. H. Chan, Department of Physics, Hong Kong Baptist University, to give a speech on the innovation technology for interactive renewable and green energy education. Dr. Chan is currently a lecturer at Hong Kong Baptist University and committee member of the Association of Energy Engineers uh, of the Hong Kong chapter. He has taught school students and university students on renewable and green energy for about 10 years. Dr. Chan, please. So our friends, uh, Green Council for this uh, opportunity. So uh, my, um, uh, I believe all of you are professional. Uh, I'm not professional, so I forget all uh, education. <laughs> So uh, you are professional. Okay. So um, so uh, renewable energy education. Um, um, perhaps here uh, we focus on uh, PV, but actually there are um, other uh, renewable energy sources. So uh, solar, wind. Um, today I try to focus on uh, PV and also political energy. So um, I also try to. Um, um, because uh, education, I try to engage students into renewable energy. So I, I try to um, introduce uh, innovation and smart te technology. Um, the components, um, uh, for example, uh, interactive demonstrations, uh, microcontroller, Wi-Fi, internet, Bluetooth, sensor, smartphone, um, mobile apps, uh, maybe an AR. Um, so uh, when we look at this uh, learning pyramids, so um, I believe uh, if we introduce lecture, um, when I finish, 95% may um, forget everything about this. <laughs> so I, I believe so. Huh? So I, I try to introduce uh, today, uh, maybe I have some demonstration, and hopefully, uh, this is uh, so a percent of remembering. So hopefully, uh, 30 percent. Uh, I try to increase. Um, <laughs> so uh, demonstration here. I, I yeah. <laughs> so this is uh, EDB. Um, so um, so how can we uh, engage people? So uh, let's look at this example. So. Um, uh, this is our campus. Uh, sorry about that. <laughs> so um, <laughs> this is uh, our daily experience. So uh, when we walk around uh, PV sites, and perhaps um, still here. So, so uh, what do you think? Um, uh, do you think if the PV is in operation or not? So most probably uh, we don't know. And usually a uh, PV site is um, the PV uh, PV panels. Uh, mounted on the wood tall, um, it's a restricted area for s many school students. So it's uh, accessible to most of the people. So how can we, um, um, if we introduce some smart technology, um, smartphone, mobile apps, and then um, students can access the data. So this is an engagement. Um, uh, there's another uh, user practice to engage people. So uh, this is uh, uh, in Cantonese, uh, or landmark laws. So I, I, I came to here. Um, the normal practice is um, solar panel, um, uh, micro wind turbine. Uh, the engagement is uh, there's a lock test. So some people uh, look at the lock test and, and try to understand what um, the PV are doing. So um, in uh, education, our direction is um, enhance the lawless, um, provide hands-on experience, and maybe um, application of some um, innovation technology. So um, in kindergartens, we also provide some education. So I look at this example. I also bring some um, uh, maybe here. So this is a light sources. So uh, um, um, this is a um, uh, if you wish, I, I can circulate. So <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So um, um, the PV are uh, solar energy. 
So um, we talk about the uh, solar energy, white energy, so white lights. It's a separate zone of white lights in uh, space only. So th this is uh, one of the learning objectives in uh, maybe in kindergarten, primary, and secondary school. I, um, uh, we have already um, developed some um, experiment and demonstration case uh, related to um, uh, lights, uh, EM wave, uh, solar spectrum, and also some uh, seasonal variation, uh, diurnal variation of sunlight, power, um, and so on. Um, so this is uh, one, um, another example, uh, solar tracker. So solar tracker, um, normally we can get 30% um, more of energy uh, daily. But um, I, uh, in my experience, I think um, it's uh, quite uh, difficult uh, in the sense of well, we need to have maintenance of the solar tracking. Uh, usually the motor uh, is our order. <laughs> <coughs> so um, um, bet, um, if we still remember the engagement of students, the <coughs> learning uh, pyramids. So, um, um, <coughs> so here, uh, if students can teach others, Oh, okay, so, so, uh, uh, so uh, let me walk around. <laughs> so if, if students can uh, teach other, they can remember more. <laughs> so, uh, but, uh, but I try not to uh, um, give you to teach the others at, at this moment. And um, Another I like to focus on is uh, uh, pyrolysis energy. So um, um, pyrolysis energy means, um, so means it's a tiny energy sources. Um, the order of magnitudes is, is usually in the order of a microwatt, uh, maybe to a mini watt. So it's a tiny amount of energy, but it exists uh, uh, one everywhere in our environments. And uh, if we look at, um, so uh, what is the application of this kind of pyrolysis energy? So single-use uh, batteries. So uh, um, you can, uh, I believe you know, uh, you are professor, so you know uh, the single-use battery uh, actually has a uh, great environmental impact. And uh, if we look into um, our um, um, daily life, uh, home use uh, electronic devices, uh, the, the battery we use uh, try to operate the electronic device. For example, uh, remote control, a car, and also I um, measure the, some of the um, power consumption. So uh, microwatt uh, from the order of material, microwatt to uh, maybe milliwatt. And uh, if we look um, carefully uh, of this kind of um, power consumption. So um, microwatt to milliwatt. So I believe um, um, pyrolysis energy can uh, actually um, replace a, a single-use battery. So this is what my immersion. So imagine if we, um, my um, um, electronic devices, we don't need to use battery, um, but rather, we use um, 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 uh, pyrolysis energy, for example. Um, the typical example of pyrolysis energy can be um, thermal energy, uh, Wi-Fi energy, uh, maybe um, vibrational energy. It exists uh, one everywhere in our environment. So if uh, suppose we have some devices to capture the uh, energy, this kind of amount of energy, we can replace the uh, single-use battery. So um, um, PV, uh, when we use a PV outdoor, uh, we call it a solar energy. But, um, but suppose the lights in uh, indoor uh, is another kind of uh, pyrolysis energy. So um, the, um, so uh, here I um, have an example 
So uh, indoor. <laughs> so uh, indoor, uh, we can get the energy to power something. So uh, I, I try to not to circulate. Another uh, Wi-Fi energy. I uh, make this demonstration before. Uh, I try to use a uh, one watt uh, Wi-Fi energy transmitter, uh, one meter away from this uh, Wi-Fi core. Uh, it can operate. And you imagine that um, if we don't use single use uh, single use battery, uh, we use uh, I, I turn off my Wi-Fi, but I use the label for Wi-Fi. <laughs> <laughs> so, so actually we can do is uh, uh, and, and I, uh, of course I can say Monday uh, and uh, reduce the uh, environmental impact. Uh, the another, uh, another example can be thermal energy. Uh, everybody have um, uh, higher temperature uh, related to the um, uh, ambient temperature. Um, so this one um, uh, so this one is a, um, um, I, I don't use a, a, a battery, but if I um, use my body heat, it can power uh, something. So uh, I believe your body temperature should be higher than me. <laughs> I, uh, I'm, uh, again, if you wish, uh, uh, but try to uh, return me. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, but uh, if you high enough, uh, the temperature is high enough, you can power the to toy fan. The uh, working principle is uh, actually a uh, seabed effect. Um, um, you can uh, demonstrate it uh, anywhere. Um, you just find two uh, different types of uh, metal and then form the junction. Um, it can provide you a, a little bit, a tiny amount of uh, energy. Yeah, I usually um, like to um, show this graph. So our uh, thermal energy is uh, related to um, uh, the, um, the um, in thermal dynamics, it's a color efficiency. Uh, our body heat is, um, uh, somewhere here, maybe. So we only, um, in theory, we only um, can provide the measurement efficiency of um, maybe eight percent. But uh, in case uh, if we ha you have a, a higher temperature, say um, boiling water, or um, um, in reverse, the lower temperature is also um, worse. Um, it's a rely on the temperature difference only. So uh, suppose uh, maybe uh, dry ice is also can uh, provide you the energy. Um, uh, so uh, in education, uh, we previously also provided them um, the uh, exhibition uh, collaboration between the Hong Kong Science Museum. So uh, this is uh, some of, uh, uh, but unluckily, it's a past or already uh, finished. <laughs> Uh, but if you wish, um, uh, we have the video. <laughs> yeah. uh, vibration. So vibration, usually we have two types of energy harvesting device. One is a linear electromagnetic um, generator, and the other is a um, piece of electric. I, I also have a piece of electric here. Uh, you um, try to hit it. And you can see the energy, the demonstration of energy, uh, but try not to hit on the ground. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, thank you. Uh, hit, hit. <laughs> um, uh, nowadays, a uh, piece of electric, uh, similar to PV, it can be flexible. So flexible, we can apply it to uh, wind energy. So uh, by based on uh, previously, we uh, apply the um, 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 piece of electric, we usually apply it to um, by based on, on sources. But we can also use um, uh, wind energy. Uh, uh, a, a normal practice to uh, convert the wind energy into an electrical energy is a, a wind turbine. 
But um, we can uh, I uh, make this demonstration before. Uh, it can uh, be a piece of tree. In um, for um, university students, student, I usually uh, wish them to um, learn about the uh, solar spectrum. Uh, why? So uh, solar spectrum and also the um, the solar cell, the PV, uh, different types of PV. Uh, here I um, try to draw some um, events of solar cell, uh, different types of solar cell. Um, the uh, solar spectrum. Um, I um, um, some uh, usually someone try to ask me um, what kind of solar cell I, I need to use. Uh, which one is better? Uh, which one I should install in a, a wood toss? Um, uh, if we look into the um, the um, um, the graph, the the um, efficiency of the graph, a different type of graph. Um, traditionally, um, silicon solar cell. So this one, the red color. So you can you can capture most of the um, it's a lot most of the uh, uh, solar spectrum. So uh, inside here, the the curve below is. Uh, CRGS and other uh, different solar cell um, is a visible region, uh, uh, one of the visible region, and also a near IR region. Um, another um, amorphous um, is a in, uh, totally in the visible region. So usually, um, if you believe uh, most of the time in your country, um, um, is is a uh, uh, suppose you believe your country is. Um, uh, it's a cloudy weather. Uh, our morphous system will be better. Uh, if we look into the um, the um, efficiency or absorption spectrum of the uh, uh, amorphous system. So I um, also try to uh, simulate the um, total um, power that uh, different types of solar cell can provide. Um, so it's an AM, um, suppose it's an AM 1.5. Um, um, uh, solar silicon, um, amorphous, uh, CRGS, and so on. Um, I simulate the, um, the power. So here, the power, the power you can also is. But of course, this is a sun side condition. Um, I um, maybe I don't talk about the um, uh, operation principle, but I like to um, demonstrate this. Uh, usually, um, people believe uh, solar cell uh, absorbs uh, visible energy, but actually, uh, IR is the um, um, most uh, dominant. And uh, the reason is, uh, if we look into the efficiency graph again. Uh, I out. So uh, I uh, um, This line is um, very meaningful. Uh, this is uh, actually a uh, absorption of oxygen. So um, so in between the uh, seven sixty nanometer and four hundred nanometer. So this is a, a visible region, and this is a IR region. If you don't know where the IR region is, just look at the line here. So it's a the clear cut between the visible and the near IR region. And if we look into the graph here, the IR region here uh, may be a line uh, 100 nanometer. The efficiency can be so high. 60%, um, 70% is uh, possible. But if we integrate over all the graph, uh, it's provide um, as 20%. Uh, it's a take a mean over uh, all the wavelength. Uh, so here I demonstrate um, a um, typical um, solar cell, and here I, I have a um, IR LED. Um, 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 so I say is um, you can see it's an invisible, but it can power. Uh, this one is a one point five watt uh, LED. 
Um, I believe most of you have a mobile phone and a mobile phone that is a TOS. Um, you may um, try to use your TOS um, enumerate on this solar cell and see whether the LED can be operated or not. Uh, I, I, I can help you LED, uh, ILLD uh, can operate, but I believe your mobile phone TOS cannot. The reason is, uh, uh, I try to check it, but try not to open the IR sources directly on your eyes. <laughs> uh, it's, it's, uh, the intensity is a one, uh, one sun. Uh, one sun for this one. So uh, you cannot see it, but actually it is a bright light source. Yeah. Uh, but, but, but bright light is a lot uh, so dangerous. This is um, um, it's a one sun only. Uh, I believe um, so one sun, when you sign um, what I want uh, under a, a sun side, is possible for you. You, you just feel uh, this is uh, uh, comfortable. <laughs> now remember visible, uh, visible lights, uh, even though uh, the Bob Ben uh, visible lights uh, from your toes, it's a lot of possible to turn on the uh, white light LED. Uh, the reason is, um, it can be 60 or 70 percent. Uh, so that means when you turn the um, light source uh, into a um, exactly match the highest efficiency of your solar cell, um, your solar cell can be a, a high efficiency solar cell. So that means um, um, uh, whether a solar cell is a high efficiency solar cell or not, uh, depending on the solar uh, the, the the light sources. So well, we need to match both of the condition. And after um, uh, nowadays, the technology, um, uh, we have a uh, organic solar. Um, where this? Yeah, we, are, we have an organic solar cell. So organic solar cell is a, a exactly match the. Um, the uh, spectrum or the indoor lights. So um, the uh, efficiency can be all also, uh, can be very high, uh, maybe 40%, 50% is also possible. Um, so um, uh, another application is, uh, so um, when we install solar cell, uh, we need to take a survey and look around the, your, your field, uh, whether there is a certain uh, effect or not. Uh, traditionally, uh, I believe, um, uh, again, you are professional, so uh, traditionally, um, we, um, we have a um, device to, um, uh, to train your building and then uh, try to match your asthma angle, uh, solar asthma angle, and electricity angle. Um, but um, uh, because uh, we are innovation, uh, innovators and um, we try to uh, apply uh, innovators and smart technology. So this one, uh, I, um, so this, uh, this app is developed by us. Um, I try to demonstrate uh, one day um, if I want to install a um, solar panel uh, on our campus, uh, maybe today uh, the sun side is very good. So here I try to trade the trajectory of the sun path. So you can see the sun path um, is a sun side when um, maybe a 10, 30 and up to um, maybe 16 uh, hours. But later on uh, in September, it's totally, uh, you don't have energy. It's, and the daily energy is um, only um, maybe one hour here. And all I um, also simulate the um, total daily energy in an open area. So open area, I suppose, is a to um, without shaping effects. But um, in um, my area, uh, because of some uh, building shapings, um, so um, I have typical values, um, monthly solar energy, um, or uh, uh, the annual solar energy in an open area. So I want uh, 
1,000, uh, a little bit more, uh, 1,000 uh, kilowatt hours. Uh, but uh, because of uh, certain effects, uh, I can simulate the energy is uh, maybe, t maybe, uh, maybe 10 percent a little bit lower um, in comparison to the others. So um, we can actually predict uh, what the amount of energy that I, I can get. So uh, because of time, I try to. Um, so this one, uh, AU, uh, augmented um, reality, we can provide the application even if in the evenly. So, so, um, so this one uh, simulates the, um, the uh, below the horizon. So, um, yeah. so uh, previously, I, um, I hope to um, engage people into a PV project or activity. So a PV panel, uh, I hopefully uh, we can integrate some um, innovative device. Uh, and everyone uh, have a mobile phone, we can talk to the uh, solar panel and tell me uh, today how much energy that you can provide me. So it calculate and, um, and then tell you. And also a PV can tell you, uh, I have uh, maybe I had um, a little bit dirty uh, bird jaw, uh, maybe uh, something like that. So I try to clear my uh, my panel. So um, so I um, I think uh, I don't have much time. So I try to skip uh, all about this one. So uh, it, um, the, my last slide. Slides. So uh, my philosophy. So um. Uh, we cannot create energy. Uh, we are not God. Uh, <laughs> so, um, but we can uh, recover, uh, we live the low grade energy. And also, we can even uh, save energy for uh, our uh, sustainable future. So, thank for your, um, for this sharing.